the problem is most Christians who walk around with Bibles in their hands, preaching to Muslims and others have no idea what the history of the scripture is. The writings of Paul in the first two centuries were not even considered scripture. Oh really? You are an absolute airhead, yeah, Adnan Rashid. What do you mean the writings of Paul are not considered scripture? According to who, Ya Adnan Rashid? Let me show you that Peter the Apostle, Allah, and the Prophet of Islam confirmed Paul's writings to be actual scripture. Watch. In 2 Peter 3, 15-16, we read that Peter the Apostle calls Paul a dear brother who wrote letters which God Almighty inspired to him. So Peter the Apostle, a first century eyewitness, did consider Paul's letters or writings to be actual scripture. You just got refuted, Ya Adnan Rashid. The writings of Paul in the first two centuries were not even considered scripture. But in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3244, we find out that according to the Prophet of Islam, Paul's writings are the inspired words of Allah. Read with me. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger said, Allah said, I have prepared for my pious slaves things which have never been seen by an eye or heard by an ear or imagined by a human being. Wait a second. These are the words of Paul the Apostle and here is my proof. In the letter of Paul to the Corinthians, in 1 Corinthians 2.9, we read, But as it is written, What no eye has seen, no ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. Did you catch how Allah plagiarized the very words of Paul the Apostle? That means Paul's writings or letters must be divine scripture from Allah, according to the logic of Islam. Did Adnan Rashid just throw his own prophet and Allah under the bus? Oh boy, you are in trouble now, my friend. And we can also find this mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari 47.79, Sunan ibn Majah 43.28, and in Jama' al-Tirmidhi 31.97, but also in Sahih Muslim 28.24a and c, and as well in Hadith Qudsi 37, which is considered to be holy hadith of Allah himself. And that's, my friends, how the cookie crumbles. Remember, without lies, Islam dies. Hey you, yes you, stay away from Islam.